אחרי הקדוש, בוקר אור, מסכת נזיר, דף י"ט עמוד א', 19A1. We are two or three lines down, four lines down, where it says, Man Tana Leha Dekanu Rabbanan. Who is the Tana of the one that they brought in this bright? I mean, we're trying to find out who is the author of this bright. Isha Shenadra Benazi. Imagine you have a woman that she makes herself into a Nazira, and then she separates her korbanot, which is basically, remember, the two tziporim, one for a chata, one for a, for a naula, and then a keves for an asham, meaning the guilt offering is with a ram, right, with a keves, right? But before then, right, you have the, the what's it called? You have the, <laughs> you have the other two, the birds. And then what happens is she becomes tmeah. Then the husband comes and he annuls the nezirut. Remember that the husband could do a farat nedarim. Farat nedarim retroactively takes away the neder. So now, what should, does she do now? So she could bring the chatat off, but not the olat off. Right? Why? And not the keves. Because once it's batel the neder, so she can't do it. This has to be Rabbi Ishmael. Because he holds that olat nazir is coming as a kapara, and it's not just a present. So for once you annul the neder, so therefore she does not need a kapara. Okay? So because of that, this has to be Rabbi Yishmael, the son of Rabbi Yochanan ben Broka. So says the Gemara, my kasavar, what does he hold? One second. What does Rabbi Yochanan ben Broka hold? I kasavar, if he holds Baal Mekar Akar, that the husband completely uproots the neder, right, completely, so therefore, he comes and he says, if that's what he holds, so chatata of nami lo So he shouldn't come and bring chatata of. What does that mean? He shouldn't bring the chatata of. Right? Why? Because why are you bringing the chatata of? But the husband uprooted it. But it goes retroactively. There shouldn't be any... any uh... So he says like this. He says, right, what's, what does he hold exactly? If the husband... Completely annuls it retroactively. So why do you have to bring the chatata of then? We said she brings the chatata of. She doesn't bring the olata of, and she doesn't have to bring the asham. But one second, why does she bring the chatata of? Now you're going to tell me that the husband only just cuts off the neder. So he says olata of naminati. So bring the olata of also as well. Not only just the chatata of, bring the olata of as well. Okay. So says the gemara. Leolam Kasava really he holds Baal Mekar Akar, really he uproots it. Rabbi Ishmael and Rabbi Ishmael Sava like Rabbi Lazara Kapar. Rabbi Ishmael holds like Rabbi Lazara Kapar. Titana was learned to the writer, Rabbi Lazara Kapar Berebi, Omer. Lazara Kapar Berebi says, Matamul Omar, what does it mean when we learn? Bechipera lav me asher chatala nafesh. You're going to be mechaper, right? Me asher chatala nafesh. Business, what, what did you sin? You became Tameh Beshogeg. So why are you a sinner? You should sin Beshogeg. Ela Shetzir Atzmo Minayayin. You remember we said, we learned this already in Nedarim. When you come and you segregate yourself from wine, you're a sinner. You remember we had, uh, we also learned it in Tanit. Do you remember? Tanit also. We learned it. Ah, very good. You remember? So here we have it. Rabbi Lazar Akapar. So he comes and he says, Kavachomet. If this person is only separating from wine and he's called a chote, so if you're going to separate from everything, all the more so you're going to be considered a chote. So says the Gemara, but this is written by Nazir, Nazir, Nazir Tameh. And we, we're talking about even a Nazir Tahor. So how could this work? Meaning by a Nazir Tameh, this makes sense. But here it's a Nazir Tahor. And still we're calling him a chote. Why is he a chote? Even a nazir taor is also a chote. Why? Why is it written by nazir tameh? He says, Because he was being shone becheto. What does it mean shone becheto? Right? Who is this? He comes and he says, Ah, this is a French one. Okay. He says, he's going to be, right, shana becheto. What does it mean shana becheto? He's doing his sin even more. Because not only was he sinning because he segregated from wine, now he's also sinning because what? Because he didn't 
he what? Not only is he sinning because he segregated himself from wine, but also he's sinning because he became Tameh. That's why it's written in Asher Chatal Nafesh Al on the Shoge on the Nazir Tameh that he became Tameh, even though the, even the Nazir Taor is also a Chote. He's also a sinner. He's separated from wine. Okay. Yatsa v'nichnas olin lo min minyan. We said though. <coughs> If the Nazir, he made himself into a Nazir when he was inside of the Bet Amigdash. Yeah, and then in Bet Amigdash, Bet Akvarot. And then he went out and he came back inside. It's going to be a little min minyan. Ketani, we learned, a little min minyan, mishum diyatza, chal nezirut. Because the second that he went outside of the Bet Akvarot, it's going to be chal the nezirut. So once he went outside of the cemetery, now it's chal the nezirut. And that's why it's going to count. It's part of the minyan. So Amr Shmuel, Shmuel comes and he says, kegon shiyatza vehiza veshana. He says, no, what happened was he went out of the cemetery. He had the effort of the Paraduma on the third day. The Shana, and then again, the effort of the Paraduma on the seventh day. The Taval, and then he did Tevila. Then it's going to be Chal the Nezirut, because now he's going to be Tahor. Okay? So even if it is that he went back inside on the seventh day, okay, he's still going to be Chayav the Korban and Tiglach Tatuma because the Nezirut was already Chal on the same day that he became Tahor, on the seventh day. Okay, only if he went into the Beta Kavarot, it's going to count for him. But if he didn't go back into the Beta Kavarot, it's not going to count for him as the Minyan. So says the Gemara, not only if he goes out of the Beta Chaim does it start to count, even if he goes into the Beta Chaim, he's going to be Yolel Minyan, which means that it's going to be fitting to be counted as the day. That means even though he became Nitzman and he destroyed it, it's still going to be Olin Lo Min Minyan. Amru Le Rav Kana Rav Asi Le Rav says Rav Kana Rav Asi to Rav. My time Alam Efrat Shalan Kale Mile. Why is it that we're not explaining these things? Amar Leon he tells them, Amina, I'm gonna. I thought Dilma Lo Tzichitu. What does that mean? Maybe you didn't need to explain it, and it was already going to be explained on its own. So the fact that I didn't need to explain it, it's already explained on its own. That's why I didn't need to come and to explain it whatsoever. Okay, we're going to be on the two dots. Okay. We're on the two dots on the bottom of the page where it says, Abeliezer, Omer, Abeliezer says, Lo bo bayom. We're not talking about the deen that he becomes Tameh in the same day that he becomes Tahor. Shneimah, it says in the Pasuk, Ha'yimim yashlim yiplu, et sha'ad shiyu yamim rishonim. What does that mean? We need the yamim rishonim. What is yamim rishonim? Where you're going to have the first days of Tahara. So Amar Ula Ula comes and he says, Lo Amar Abeliezer, what is Abeliezer talking about? Ela betameh shenazar, by a Tameh that became a Nazid, Aval ben Nazid Tahor Shenitma, but if it's going to be a Nazid Tahor, that he became Tameh, Afilu Yom Echad, even if he became Tameh one day, Soter, he's going to be Soter everything, and he has to start from the beginning again. Okay, that means if he's a Nazid Tahor, remember one more time, Nazid Tahor, he becomes Tameh, you have to start the count again. Start the counter. You have a counter? Start the counter again. Okay? <coughs> no, you have to start the count again. But you completely destroyed it. You completely destroyed it. Okay. So now you have to start count. Because again, right now anyway, he became Tameh. So he has to count for seven days. Go to the mikveh, do that. And then that's it. Then he's not going to have 30 days afterwards. So he so completely you know, destroyed it. The, 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 uh, there, yes. Because there you have enough time afterwards to be a 30. Minimum is 30 days. No? Uh, minimum is 30 days. Yeah. 30 days. No, 30. no, no. It's 30 days. 30 days. Okay? You tell him back. 19b. Says the Gimana Amar Rava Rava says my time at Rabbi Yezer. What's the reason of Rabbi Yezer? Amar Kra. It says in the pasuk Kitamen Yizro. What does it mean Kitamen Yizro? Mishum Deve Tuman Azar. Because he was because he made himself into an Azir when he was Tameh. That's why it's going to be a special Allah like this. <coughs> so eight way Abaye. Abaye comes and he asks the following question. Aneni Aredi Nazir Miayom. This was your question, Doctor. The person said he's going to be an, an Azir for 100 days. When he became Tameh at the beginning of 100. Yachol, yes, Soter, I would have thought that you're going to be Soter. Only if you already had a few days of Tahara. And then, right, and then he broke it. But this person, he doesn't have anything. Which means that the fact that he became Tameh right at the beginning, <coughs> right, it's nothing. So says the Gemara. What happens now? So I have to redo hundred. No, well, he never started hundred. It was at the beginning. 
Beginning, okay. meaning before he started. Yes, the first day of the Nizirut. The first day. The first day of Nizirut of the hundred boom, he becomes Tameh. So, <laughs> exactly. So therefore he says, it's when he's going to become Tahor, he's going to start from the Minyan, which he stopped. So if he started on the first day, he's going to count the second day already. Meaning that day still uh, 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 counts. Okay? So now he comes and he says like this. He says, Nitma besof mea. What happens if he becomes Tameh at the end of a hundred? So he says, I would have thought to say that you're going to destroy it. So it's much more that there's other days as well. So we learn from here that the Torah did not say that it's going to be Soter only in a case where he says <coughs> that he still has a few days to do Nezirut. Here you don't have any days to do because he actually became Tameh on the last day. Okay, meaning Mamash, the last day, the last day of 100. If you did, if you got became Tameh on 99, I would have thought that you're not going to be Soter. So here, if a person became Tameh on 99, it comes out that you have both Tanaim, and therefore you're going to be Soter Legamde. Completely, you're going to be Soter. <coughs> you understand know, so what happened? One more time. A hundred days. If you are on the first day, you don't have anything before. So the first day, even though you became Tameh on the first day, the first day still counts. So then after you become Tameh and you purify yourself, you okay. start from day two. How about the hundred? What do you mean? So it says the Gimara, so mashma that you need, you have many shunim, you have many shunim, and you have many shunim. Ask the Gimara, and you have a Tameh that you have to do. What about a Tameh? That he he makes himself into a nazid, you can't say that. Meditani, because we say had any nazid meayom. Right? Imagine a person comes and he says he's going to become a nazid for a hundred days, and he became tamei the first day. Katani, we learned achilu nishonim until you have yamim nishonim. So it's mashma that even though he was nazar betahara, and then afterwards he became tamei, right? He's not going to be soter his number, right? But rather only if he did a few days. So it's a question against ula, right? So he comes and he says, you're right. It's a good question against uh, against Ula. Okay? Because that's what Abaye was coming and asking, right? Against Ula. Because Ula said that we're only talking about a Tamesh Nazar, but a Nazir Tahor Shanitma, even Yom Echad, is going to be Soter. And here we're saying it's not true. So this is a question against Ula. Okay? Next. Amar le Rapapa. La Abaye. Says Rav Papa to Abaye. <coughs> Says Rav Papa to Abaye. Yeah, don't worry. I have uh, the eye is always on. Yeah, Halen Yamim the Kamrinan. He comes and he says these days that we just said. Basically, what did Rabbi Eliezer say? There is no Torah Stirat Nezirut unless you did Yamim. So it takes out one day, and you start on the second day. Or maybe the covenant is that you already did two days, and you're going to start the third day. Meaning, we we learned in Pepashtut that it was only one day, and now after you clean yourself and you become Tahor, then you start on the second day. Is that the Pshat? Or maybe we met, you did two days. And after you become Tahor, you start on the third day. What's the explanation? So it says, He didn't have an answer. He says, Yipelu keti. Yipelu means in plural. So therefore, and you need to write down Yamim. So you need a plural Yamim, and you need a plural Yipelu. As if the Torah only wrote Yamim, and it didn't write Yipelu, I would have had Havamina. Even if you did two days, you could do two days, and then you'll start on the third day. So therefore it says, it's going to fall. What does it mean it's going to fall? If it was more than one day, it's going to fall. That means basically like uh, what David's question was, that even if it's going to be two days, it's also going to fall. And if it was only written Yipilu, and it wasn't written Yamim, have, I, mean, I would have thought even say, even one day is going to get destroyed. Because it says Yipilu. That if it's going to be two days, it's going to be But if it's going to be one day, it's not going to be Yipilu. Mishnah. On Yutet Amubet. Says the Mishnah. 
<coughs> Imagine a person comes and he says that he's going to become a Nazirut, but above 30 days. Yeah, and then he finishes his Nazirut. And afterwards he comes to the to bring his Korbanot. Bet Shammai Omrim, Bet Shammai say that they give him a knas. Right, what does that mean? Bet Shammai Omrim, Nazir Shoshim Yom, that he's going to be a Nazir, right, Betara for 30 days. And when he finishes the 30 days in Eretz Yisrael, then he brings his Korbanot. Bet Hillel Omrim, Bet Hillel says no. Nazir Beretz Yisrael, just like what he accepted upon himself, Batchila. Because the Naziru that he accepted upon himself in Chutz Aretz is considered Kilu, he was Nazar, Beveta Kavarot. And therefore, he has to count everything that he did from the beginning in order to bring his korbanot. You understand? Then he's according to Bet Shammai, it's only 30 days you have to do in Israel. According to Bet Hillel, how much did you accept in Chutz Aretz? 70? 70. 22? Uh, not 22, there's a minimum of 30. Uh, 35? 35. Whatever it is, that's the way it is. And then you come to us, to do the korbanot? No, that's what we're saying. We're saying is that according to everybody, the fact that you're going to be in, in Chutz Aretz, it's considered Kilu that you were in the Bet Akvarot. So since you'll be considering, the, when you come to Israel, <laughs> now you have to start the count. So according to Bet Shammai, no, that's according to everybody. Bet Shammai, though, hold, that you start the count, but the maximum I'll give you is 30. Ah, you accept it upon yourself 60, 90, 120, 70, 100, doesn't matter. I give you 30. Says Bet Hillel, how much did you say in Chutz Aretz? 70, 70 here. How much did you say in Chutz Aretz? 100, 100 in Israel. According to everybody, you have to start again. You have to do it in Israel. And then you could bring your korbanot. The question is, what's the minimum do I give you a knas in order to give it to you? <laughs> exactly. Here, Betilel is more machmed. Yeah. Next. There was a story with Hilni Amalka. Her son went to, to war. And she said, If he comes back in peace, she's going to become a Nazira for seven years. You know what that is? Nazira for seven years. Ubabena, he came back. Afterwards, she went up to Eretz Yisrael. Betilel come and they tell her, you have to become a Nazira again for another seven years. At the end of the seven years, she became Tmea. She had to start again the seven years because she became Tmea towards the end of the seven years. So again, now she has to do again another seven years. So it came out that she did 21 years in Nezirut. Amar of Yudah says of Yudah, no, 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 no. It was only for 14 years. It wasn't, we're going to explain what the Machlok it was exactly, but it wasn't that she was in Nezirah for 21 years. Yeah, and and by the way, you should know, it's not that simple to say that it's easy for I, a woman I to be. Say more First of all, for men. more easy for a man to be a Nezirah? Women, women. Women different. to be a Nezirah? Only because of the hair. Oh, and, and even that, Gosh, I don't the know. Air, the wine. And no. becoming to Mehmet. Okay. So why? Is it much easier? I would say it's the same. Was he saying, well, men drink wine more than women? I know oh, some women that they drink more wine than men. Okay, or you could say the opposite, though. That if she already has long hair. Imagine you're going to tell her now that a woman has long hair. Yeah, seven years. Yeah, no, it's for sure. Yeah. Tani Reisha. Yeah, he says, the Reisha taught, Bet Shammai Omnim, Bet Shammai says, says the Gimara, Nazir Shoshim Yom Bet Hilal Omnim Bet Hilal says, Nazir Bet Hilal, Lema Vav Kami Pagay, why don't we just say the Machlok between them is Bet Shammai Savi Bet Shammai Ho, Eretz Amin Mishum Gusha Gazor Aleha. That Eretz Amin, which means outside of Israel, they contaminated it because of Gush, because of the Afar. But the Avir of Eretz Amin does not have Tumah. And therefore, since the Chachamim were Mekilim and Gziratam, he does not have to add on more than 30 days. And Betilel hold, we're on Kaf Abu Dalet from the top. Betilel hold, Mishum Avira Gazru Aleh. Even even on the Avir of Chutz Aretz, they made a Gezira. And therefore, since they made the Gezira, even on the Avir, because of, you know, like, a, you know, the concept of Tum'ah, even in the air, so therefore, since they were Machmim, so therefore, once you get into Israel, you have to start from the beginning, the entire thing, and then the Gemara is going to say, no, that's not explained, or, you know, let's just go into the two dots. It says the Gemara, no. It's not true. The alma because of everybody holds Bishub Gusha that they made the the gizra because of Gusha because of the land. The Bet Shemay somebody b'stam nezirut kanista. The Bet Shemay said that we stam we give them a knas on stam nezirut. The Bet Yilad says no. When we give them the knas, the knas is on the entire nezirut from the beginning. So that's a machloket. Do we go after stam nezirut or do we say no no no? What did you make? You made a promise of fifty days. 
50 days in this loot in its uh, You made a promise of 100, 100. Two Nizirut, 60. It all depends on the on the attributes. Okay, I want to 